In this video, we'll continue to work on the database helper class. Now first, we need to copy the database from the asset folder to the user phone memory. And the path we are setting for the database is this db underscore path. So let's create a method that will copy the database from the asset folder to this path. So the method copy database throws IO exception. We have an input stream variable my input and we assign the database which is in the asset folder to this my input variable and a string variable out file name db underscore path plus db underscore name and an output stream type variable my output and we assign file output stream to this my output variable this file output stream takes the out file name as its parameter so the output stream will be saved in this out file name path which is basically the path of the user phone memory and now we set the buffer variable to 1024 and here is an integer variable length and now in this while loop we read the input stream with the speed of this buffer and write it on the output stream and lastly we flush my output and then close my output and my input and here is a log for debugging purposes and now we'll create a method to check if the database already exists or not so public boolean check database and here is a sqlite database type variable check db and we set it to null now let's try to open the database in a try catch block and here my path is the path where we copied the database in copy database method and we set check db to sqlite database dot open database and the path is my path factory is null and we open the database in a read only mode so now if we have a database in this path then check db won't be null but if you don't have a database in this path then check db will be null and now if check db is not null then we close the database and here if check db is not null we return true and if it's null we return false and now we'll create a method to call this check database and if it returns false which means we don't have a database then we call this copy database method so create database throws io exception and we assign whatever is returned by this check database to this dv exist variable and if dv exist is false which means database doesn't exist first we get readable database and then in a try catch block we call copy database now let's create a method to open the database so open database throws sql exception string variable my path is db underscore path plus db underscore name and then we open the database in read write mode and assign it to this my database variable and now let's overwrite close method if database is not null then we close the database and the super.close is from the sqlite open helper if we control click it we can see the method in sqlite open helper and now we need to overwrite on create let's keep on create empty and now to overwrite on upgrade so the parameter it takes is the database and this int i is the old version and int i1 is the new version and in a try catch block we delete the existing database and copy the new database and that's all for this video